Given Charlton's form, Aston Villa travelled more in hope than expectation. More hopeful than most, Peter Crouch. His first start since September almost brought a big boost. Good start for Villa, nearly undone, when Mark Kinsler, back at his old club for the first time, seemed to handle. The Irishman got a standing ovation from the Valley fans pre-match. They'd have liked him even more if the ref had seen that. After the break, Charlton didn't need any help from the officials. Scott Parker picked out the well-time run of fellow midfielder Jason Yule. It livened up a lacklustre game. Villa's response, quick reflexes from Vassal, the header blocked by Parker. Crouch followed up. Parker was there again. Crouch badly needs a goal to rekindle his season. Even Graham Taylor said so pre-match. The front man who's never had to cope with time on the sidelines before is lacking confidence. It showed. Charlton don't seem to have any self-doubt. Parker especially, fresh from his England call-up. He was full of running, pulling the defence apart for Jonathan Johansson to score a simple second with only three minutes left. Villa realised the game was over, if not the scoring. Still time for a flattering third. After 11 months without a Premiership goal before today, Johansson will want to claim it, though J Lloyd Samuel got a final touch. Five Premiership wins in a row is a club record for Charlton. The late double left Villa feeling hard done by. You come off 3-0 and uh, it's, just, it's just strange. You, you, it, you, but you look at the papers tomorrow, it'll still say 3-0 and it'll still be hard to work it out then. The players I've got, I think, are a credit to the club. Uh, they, as I said, started off very poorly but never lost faith that we could turn it around and this run is incredible. For all the latest football news, log on to our website. Means they are now only three points behind Manchester United with a game in hand and Charlton's fifth win on the trot lifts them up to sixth. At the other end, Sunderland remain rooted.